Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Bird Song. I'm gonna go through those packages of jewelry and trinkets and all of that stuff. And I thought I would turn the camera on. This, look at this little tray. That, Jennifer sent me that as well. Um, I've received some beautiful happy mail lately. Christy Biddleston sent me some things, absolutely beautiful. Jay sends me things um, regularly, which I just truly appreciate. Jennifer sent me some gorgeous things. I hope you can see okay. I feel like the lighting could be brighter. Um, anyway, let's work with what we have. Let's cut the top off of this. There's a piece sticking out and I really don't want to cut it. I may cut it once I get to the point where I'm gonna do that on purpose, but I don't wanna cut anything by accident. So let's just dump this out. I know a lot of this is gonna be, um, you know, maybe junk that I wouldn't use. Ooh, black onyx. This whole bag was a dollar. So um, that's the reason that I went ahead and bought it. Now these beads, they look like Mardi Gras beads. That's a really cute, oh, that's definitely Christmas. Look at this long length of snowflakes. So that's gonna go with my Christmas stuff. And let me pull out all of the Mardi Gras beads. I love how these beads are sort of pearlescent or they, they're shimmery, opalescent. I can't remember the word for that. I'm gonna leave those separate from these. Uh, the stars, they're cute. I know that what I'm pulling out is not all necessarily Mardi Gras beads, but I think you know what I mean. They're just cheap. Um, they're meant for costume, for decoration. There are some pretty wooden beads in here. Okay, I don't like these at all. These are like a rubbery, squishy sort of bead. Uh, I don't think I would even use these in my junk journal stuff. Um, you can see how they clip together. That's kind of pretty for a junk journal. I don't think that I would wear it, but it does have some pretty sparkly beads. I just turned my heater off. It was chilly this morning, but it's warming up today to the high 60s, and I don't need the heater going. Now, this is one of the reasons I bought this, this particular bag. It's got some really neat beads and charms that will be fun on a junk journal. These beautiful glass beads. This is a really large piece. This really long string of faux pearls. I will donate that. Okay, this had a lot of really pretty buttons, including some that look to be uh, mother of pearl some pretty charms there. This one says live. There's a little angel charm. You can see that appears to be a homemade necklace, but it's got a lot of pretty pieces on it for junk journaling. Uh, this, I cannot see myself using, I don't know what kind of beads these are. They look a little bit like wood. Two more strands of pearly type things. The the clasp on this one is broken. I'm gonna put this in the donate pile. Those are kind of pretty. I can't see myself wearing these. Some of these blue beads are pretty. Let's put that over there. This is just sort of a mess. These beads don't really feel like glass. They look more like plastic and definitely has some wear. The, I think that was meant to hang sort of in tears, you know, but, um, seen better days. Not sure what I'm going to do with that one. I, I'm not going to keep it. I don't know if I'll donate it or trash it. I hate to say that, but some things get to the point where they don't need to keep cycling through thrift stores even. They just need to be discarded. Some seashell necklaces. I will probably donate these. What is this? Is this another one of those? Oh, I think it's got some broken... Well, no, what is this? I do not know what this is. There's no clasp anywhere. It's wrapped around here. Does it just hang around? Hmm. Lots of little wooden beads here. I, I don't use these a lot, not this kind. I'm gonna think about this one. 
that's my think pile. I need to do more work on this. I need to cut this apart. Now let's see what's in this next bag. This was also a dollar and my goodness. Wow, huh, that's fun. That would make a fun charm on a really junky junk journal. What caught my eye on this, of course, is this bunch of sort of rhinestone-y, shimmery, sparkly pieces that are really pretty when you put them on uh, junk journals. You know, you can sew them to the cover and they add a lot of bling. I like these. This bag was definitely worth a dollar. Look, it's got the little watch. I can take that apart. That's neat. I think that's a little older, the way that's made. It looks like it is. I, do, I won't wear it. Uh, I don't need a bangle. I'll donate that. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. So that's a little bracelet. It's completely intact. Probably needs to be washed up a little bit. But it's not bad. That's actually kind of cute. Man, this thing is all tangled up with stuff. There's a really cool clasp in here. A pretty little key charm. This is a really pretty charm. Does that? Oh yeah, I really do like that. That's a fossil thing here. That whole thing, I guess, is fossil. I don't know if somebody added to it. There's more of the rhinestone stuff. I want you to just see how pretty they are. Another ring. That's one of those stretchy rings. Ugh, I won't wear that. My hands are so dry today. Uh, that, I can't see myself using those beads, really. And I'm not going to tear it apart since it's in good shape. I will donate that. I don't think I will wear that. I'm going to donate that. This, I don't know if I want to tear that apart. But actually, those seem to be glass beads, but they look like they have a line where they were molded. They may be plastic. This is definitely something that is broken. The wire is broken, but that would still be really pretty sewn onto a junk journal, and I would just take the end piece and maybe make a pretty little curly cue before I sewed it onto a journal. Both of, I think both of these are metal, some kind of metal. Another bag for a dollar. So far I have spent, this is crazy. So far I've spent three dollars. Plus I've had the fun of digging and look at these. It's like these beads are wrapped in some sort of a netting. I'm probably going to take this apart. I could see myself using these faux pearls with, on the chain, maybe sewing them onto a cover. This conglomeration is one of the reasons I bought this bag. Uh, it looks like somebody made a necklace with uh, wire wrapping, and honestly, that would probably not be the most comfortable thing to wear, but it has got some gorgeous glass beads, and... I would just use my wire cutters to cut them off one at a time, probably. Uh, this really heavy, heavy chain. That might go on a junk journal under some circumstances. I'm going to end up with a box of stuff. More of the little faux pearls. Here's a little bracelet that has a cross on it. Tiny, tiny little cross. Those beads don't move. In other words, they're attached to the string. I'm going to donate that. I'm going to donate this, I'm going to donate this, and this. One last bag. So what are we up to? Four dollars. I like the tag in there. Uh, what is all of this? Oh yeah, so I definitely got these for the charms I can get out of this. That reminds me of something like an old Sarah Coventry thing this. I wanted these rhinestone sort of pieces. Oh my goodness. So somebody crocheted these big rhinestone pieces to this gold chain, which that just needs to come undone instantly. That's pretty. That'll be pretty on a junk journal. Ooh, here's a little UNC charm. That could be um, like official UNC 
there's a tiny name on that tag. So I will hang on to that. That's pretty. I don't think I would wear it, but it could be desirable for someone, big UNC fan. That's a really pretty little charm. And this looks old, in my opinion. It's pretty. Just the metal on that. Um, it doesn't look super expensive, but it does look old to me. That is all that I got in bags. The other pieces are this beautiful rosary. It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this pretty little metal heart, which I will use as a, as a charm to go on a journal. It's got holes that will make it really easy to sew into place. And then we have this beautiful, this is a gorgeous piece, actually. Made in Italy. Beautiful religious piece. I'm going to research that one. And then here is another beautiful crucifix and then another beautiful cross. This one was made in France. So I found some gorgeous pieces. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go wash my hands <laughs> and uh, come back and sort these. And then I'm going to get busy working on some journals again. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.